Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. So in today's video, I am very excited to be making three whiskey-based cocktails. That is right, you heard me correctly. I'm going to be making a trio of gorgeous whiskey-based cocktails that are going to be perfect for spring summer. I am also so happy to be once again working with Schweppes on today's video. In case you missed our little collaboration last year, which was so, so much fun. It was here on my YouTube and over on my Instagram. We created some really, really fun serves. Well, we are back and we're looking at all things spring, summer. So if you didn't already know, Schweppes are my go-to for adding the perfect amount of fizz and effervescence into some of my favorite drinks. So we have teamed up today for something that we have called Bubble Buddies. And it is all about creating the perfect serve for your virtual get together. Here in Ireland, we are obviously still experiencing quite a few restrictions. We cannot be physically together just yet, but that is not stopping me from catching up with my friends, from having cocktail nights. Now it's no secret that I absolutely adore a whiskey-based cocktail. They are some of my favorites to make and to enjoy. However, coming into the warmer months, I do like having something that's a little bit lighter and more refreshing than some of the neater whiskey-based cocktails that I tend to make. So Schweppes and I have created created three absolutely beautiful whiskey-based bubbly delicious drinks that are going to be absolutely perfect for you to enjoy at home or for you to have if you're having a virtual get together. Let's get started with serve number one. This one is called a summer breeze. So the Summer Breeze is basically a more jazzy and sophisticated take on one of my favorite pairings to drink in summer. And that is of course, a good whiskey and some Schweppes ginger ale. So to make the Summer Breeze, we're gonna start with your whiskey or bourbon of choice. I'm gonna be using Woodford Reserve today. This is an absolutely beautiful bourbon. It's gonna work really, really well in this drink. And then of course, we're also gonna be using some of the Schweppes ginger ale. Now, if you've been in on any of my Patreon live streams, my go-to drink is always a ginger ale and a whiskey. It's just so easy to put together. It's so refreshing. It's so delicious. We are also going to be using a little bit of Cointreau in this drink. You do not need much, just a dash is gonna do. We are also going to be using a beautiful slice of an orange and we're actually going to be muddling this. For this serve, we're gonna be using a classic old fashioned or a tumbler glass. So let's go ahead and get our sexy slice of orange. I'm gonna get a nice thick slice right from the center. So now we're gonna add in the splash of Cointreau or whatever orange liqueur you have. I'm gonna do a little extra splash that's plenty. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our muddler. You can also use the flat back of a bar spoon, but for something like this, a good muddler will really, really help. This is going to release all of the beautiful orange juices. Oh my God, the smell is so good. The handy thing about this is it's also gonna act as our garnish as well. It's gonna add a really, really nice bit of color to the drink. So now we're gonna add in our bourbon. We're gonna do 60 mils of this. Go ahead and add in our ginger ale. We are going to do equal parts of each. So 60 mils bourbon, 60 mils our Schweppes ginger ale. Ooh, beautiful. Pop that in. Okay, so I have one of my gorgeous gigantic ice cubes right here, but what I'm gonna do before I pop that in is I'm gonna lift up the orange slice that we just modeled, pop the ice in alongside it, because it's just gonna showcase the garnish that little bit better. Give it a gentle stir, add in a teeny bit more, give it a little bit more bubbles. So this is our completed summer breeze cocktail. It looks absolutely beautiful. Cheers. It is absolutely delicious. The orange works really, really well with the ginger ale. If you've not tried it before, definitely work those two flavors in. They go so, so nicely together. Okay, so before we move on, thoughts on the summer breeze? What do you think? Would you be making this? Would you change it up? Is there like a twist that you would do on it? Let me know in the comments below because I really would love to know what you think about what we've put together. Okay, so the second cocktail that we are going to be making as part of our whiskey-based bubbles is called the Whiskey Tonic with a twist. 
So the whiskey tonic with a twist is, as you would imagine, a twist on the classic whiskey tonic, which I know is a drink that we will all reach for at some point this spring summer. But with this serve, we want to do something a little bit more updated, more exciting. And if I can just say so, it is probably my most adventurous garnish attempt. You know, I sometimes struggle with my garnishes and I'm really trying to like up the flair factor. So with this garnish, we have something really beautiful going on. I'm once again, gonna go for the Woodford Reserve. It's gonna work really, really well with this, but of course you can use your whiskey of choice. You can go for the rye, you can use Irish whiskey if you like. And then of course we are going to use the classic Schweppes tonic water. So when you use the cans, you're gonna be getting the perfect amount of fizz and effervescence every time. It is just the perfect serving size. We are also gonna be using some simple syrup. And if you've not got a bottle of this in your cupboard or in your fridge already, I strongly recommend you whip up some. So then when it comes to our garnish, things are getting pretty wild. We're gonna use a beautiful slice of cucumber. I'm gonna show you how to arrange it in the glass. It looks so, so cool. And of course we're using our gorgeous highball glasses. So it's gonna give a lot of room to let that garnish shine. And then to top it off, we are gonna use a beautiful sprig of rosemary, which I find not only adds a gorgeous bit of aroma to the drink, but it's just a stunning garnish. First step in this drink is to actually get your cucumber slice ready. Cause you need to arrange this in the glass before you do anything else. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start peeling off. We kind of want to get lower down in the cucumber so we can kind of get a thicker bit of peel. I think that looks really, really good. And then we're gonna get a second one. So you wanna gently arrange your cucumber along the inside rim of the glass. I think it does help to twist it before you place it in and then you can kind of let it go and then it just kind of sticks on its own. You can see nicely how it's twisting. The second one's a little bit trickier, but we'll get there. Here we go, if you can see, we have our beautiful cucumber arranged. Trying to not disturb the cucumber while we add in our ice. Now we're gonna do 60 ml of our Woodford Reserve on top of that. And then we're gonna add in just 15 ml of simple syrup, so not too much. And then I'm gonna do a very gentle stir. And again, if you are gentle, you won't disrupt the cucumber. So now we're gonna top with our tonic water. And I'm actually gonna show you something that somebody showed me to protect your lovely nails if you're opening cans, if you wanna protect them. You basically just use one can to open the other. It's very clever and it just lifts it up. We're gonna go ahead and top with our tonic water, adding some gorgeous bubbles, bringing it right up to the top. I'm finding a nice, lovely sprig of rosemary. You can actually put two together if you want. Down the side of the drink, again, kind of putting it in next to the cucumber. So here is our finished whiskey tonic with a twist. I think this looks very jazzy. It's giving me a lot of spring vibes. So let's go ahead and have a taste. And I'm actually gonna go in right next to the rosemary so I get that lovely scent as well. It's so good. Oh, it's amazing. You can taste the notes of the cucumber. The rosemary smell is absolutely beautiful, but the tonic and the whiskey go so, so well together. If you wanted something refreshing, and again, if you were having a virtual hangout, you wanted to impress people with your garnish, I feel like it's the best garnish I've ever done. Would you agree? Is this a garnish that you would attempt at home? Do you think I did a good job with it? Is it something that you would try? Are you a fan of a whiskey and tonic mix or do you have like a different twist that you do? Let me know in the comments, I would love to know. So for our final whiskey-based bubbles concoction, we are going to make a whiskey Collins. And again, a Whiskey Collins is another classic summertime drink for whiskey lovers. It is so refreshing, but we are going to do a little jazzy version of it today. So we're gonna start with an Irish whiskey. We're gonna switch it up from the last two. We're gonna use some Glendalough double barrel Irish whiskey. It's really, really nice if you haven't tried it before. And then of course, we're gonna be using our Schweppes soda water in this drink. We are also going to be using a couple of dashes of Angostura bitters. We are also gonna be using some of the Old Faithful simple syrup in this drink. And we are going to be using some fresh lemon juice as well. This is a cocktail that we are also going to be shaking. And then for our garnish, we're gonna use another orange slice. And of course, how could I do a roundup without it? We're gonna use some of the Luxardo cherries for the garnish as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop some ice in the shaker. So we're gonna start with 60 mils of our beautiful Irish whiskey into our shaker. In we go. In on top of that, we're just gonna go ahead with two dashes of Angostura. Then we're gonna do 30 mils of fresh lemon. Then we're gonna put in roughly 22 mils of simple syrup. And then we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice shake. Okay, so shaking that up and off. We're gonna fill our Collins glass with ice and then we're just gonna go ahead and strain this in. Very good. And then we are going to top with our soda water. 
the best sound, honestly. Add a nice bit of fizz, beautiful. So for the garnish, I'm gonna do a nice orange slice. So we're gonna grab our Luxardo cherries. So I'm just gonna do one because I know with the orange slice, we have a lot going on. So I'm just gonna rest it here on top with the cherry sticking out. And I think that looks quite nice. This is our finished Whiskey Collins. The color is absolutely beautiful. It's got a nice little gradient going on here. Looks very summery, like an actual sunset, but let's see how it tastes. Cheers. It's beautiful. There's obviously a nice hit of citrus with the lemon. If you're at home, you're hanging out with your friends, doing a virtual hangout, and you want to transport yourself to, you know, a summer location, then I think this would be great. It tastes divine. Thoughts on the Schweppes Whiskey Collins? What do you think? Is it something that you would make at home? Do you like my garnish? Are you a fan of a Whiskey Collins? I feel like it is a very, very popular drink. So if you have your own specific way of making it, let me know in the comments. I love hearing what your take on all of these serves are. So there you have it. We have three gorgeous whiskey-based serves, all featuring some of my favorite Schweppes products. They really are such a go-to for me. So if you're looking for some inspiration this spring for some gorgeous bubbly drinks that you can make, these are tried and tested. I absolutely love them. And as I said, I would love to know what you think of these three serves that we've put together. Are they ones that you will make at home? Would you do a little bit of a twist on them? Please do let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more easy cocktails that you can make at home, I will link a playlist up here. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Cheers.